bosses were cart. With unsurpassed sorrow, I must announce Lady Antonia has passed away. As she entered immortality, she seemed at peace. Her face was calm and she wasn't in pain. It is all thanks to you. Without your most difficult of choices, she would never have found such peace. As for me, I am bereft of emotion. My life, or what passes for it, has lost meaning. It feels like pain has swallowed me whole. Thus I plan to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet. This will be my last conversation with you as Polandina. Despite how it ended, I thank you for the kindness, bravery, and beautiful moments you showed me. Welcome to Hotel Prat. How? I want to give Alidoro's belongings to someone who knows their worth. It's what he would have wanted. If you can prove your worth, his weapon is yours.
the house of Anini. At the house of Anini. I want to give Alidoro's book. Antonia is dead. She was... I would have done everything I could to help with... Damn it. I'm so tired of people I know dying. So you'd better not die. If you can't stay alive, I'm gonna beat you up. You're here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst.
Ciao, Bello. I had a feeling you were no ordinary kid, but I never expected to meet you here. It's a trivial matter. Everything is trivial in this part of the business, reward or no reward. The reason for kidnapping someone or for blocking your path here. But if some audacious behavior helps my brother see again, that's a different story. In all honesty, I don't want to fight. Not you, at any rate. For one, it's a damned hassle. And why should I satisfy an employer who didn't pay me enough? It's not too late. We don't have to fight. Just show me some kindness, and I might change my mind. I see. I guess that's that. You can't get blood from a stone. Not usually, that is. And your pockets can't always be full. I admit, I started to believe you might really help us. Or try. I really thought there was hope for my brother. So, you know what comes next, don't you? In true stalker fashion, come at me. We both know where this is going. Time to settle it, blade to blade. someone to survive. Maybe that's human nature.
maybe we could be friends. We villains never get to choose. saddens me to see my precious son in a place like this. I wanted you to grow up as a good boy in a peaceful world. And yet, I think all I've taught you is blood and violence. This will be the last time I ask. I promise. Simon has gone completely mad. He's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. And I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. Speak truthfully. For my sake, was I a trustworthy father to you? I see. I didn't do enough to earn your trust. I wasn't a very good father to you. I gave you more loneliness than love. That's my burden to bear. But remember, there is still plenty of time. Once all this is over, we can become a real family. I promise, I will give it back to you. The happy family we once were. Put an end to it all. Son, 